I've been wanting to make a red versus blue diorama now for a really long time, and I figured today would be the day that I finally did it. Sadly, in the process, my X-Acto blade broke, so I had to just take the blade itself, use it, cut the styrofoam. The styrofoam I'm using is Pink Panther Foam. I get it from the Home Depot. I'm cutting out these individual little chunks, and these are going to be stone pillars that we're going to use in the diorama just to break up from the snow base texture that's going to be going on. I'm cutting these pillars in half with my X Acto knife here. Shaping them with a thinner box cutter style knife as well. Then I'm taking my X-Acto blade here and I'm just going around and scoring them and these are going to be individual lines that are going to be going up that have big grooves in the pillars. I just wanted to make it seem a little bit more interesting than adding stone texture so this is what I went for. placing them all around the diorama just to kind of get a feel of what I want and hitting them with a tin foil ball as well to add that stony texture. I'm also using my fingers just to rip up various pieces and make them seem way older and more used and damaged. This is going to be a single metal grid that has a wire going underneath it later, so I just kind of cut it to the shape that I wanted, use my X-Acto blade to cut it out on the inside. Now we're adding in a little bit of a terrain height difference with some dollar store foam here. And I'm just cutting away and beveling it. Now I'm stacking up a few of these cheap dollar store squares that I cut out. Now I'm just cutting them around and shaping them a little bit. And then placing them right down onto the diorama. Now I'm going to be making the little flag capture spot where the blue was trying to bring back the red's flag. Basically I just cut out a circle twice. Beveled all the edges. And then also made a imprint in the middle just to add a little bit more detail and scored that with my X-Acto knife and a pencil. After that was finished, I needed a very small piece of dollar store foam core, and then I traced that around on the sides, four sides, and then I did that four times on the sides just to give it a little bit of a better look. A little bit more of a game accurate look, I thought. Paint brushes. Finally picked up a new pair of paint brushes, and they helped out so much more than my old ones. We need to do a base coat of black paint on the diorama to start just to get everything nice and set for when I added more colors and layers and everything else. So I started with a base coat of black on the pillars, the diorama, and anything else that I was going to be using for this project. Then we're going to be covering it with white. I'm going to be using Liquitex gel later on for the snow, but I wanted to save myself a lot of Liquitex gel, so I just covered the base of the diorama in white. So that was finished. I started working on these stone pillars using kind of a muddy brown here and then just going over them almost like a dry brush but still kind of a wet brush. 
a little bit of a hybrid. Then for the capture point, we're gonna be painting a nice metallic silver. Same thing with this weird pillar we made earlier. And then a few more of these box points. I just got this from a little scrap bin that I have of like weird toy pieces. They work well. Now we're going over with a different shade of brown, almost like a reddish brown. And I'm just covering that with a dry brush just to give the stone pillars a little bit more texture, detail, and make them look more interesting. I had to trace out and cut out the area on the diorama where that little that metal piece that we made earlier. So I did that and then I peeled it all away with my fingers and I placed it right in the spot. Then I also cut holes on each side. Now I'm just placing down the individual stone pillars, trying to figure out how they were gonna go and look before I did the wiring. filling up the inside of this with hot glue and attaching this rubber wire. This is just an old jump rope that I had that I just decided to cut up for this project and it worked really well. Also gluing down these other sides. cutting a little bit off and placing it into the diorama, almost like it's going deeper into the snow, I thought looked really cool. And we're also gonna use some white tape just to cover that up. We'll go over with the Liquitex gel, it's gonna cover up that tape really easily. I started applying this stuff all around the diorama. Using my bigger brush here, I'm just lightly dabbing it on in very thin layers. Since we have the white on the ground, we don't need to do too much Liquitex gel, which saved us a lot of material. And then we're just going around and making sure everything looks snow covered. The whole idea for this diorama is that it's in an Arctic weird kind of wasteland where they have this CTF going. And I thought it was really cool and I definitely love making snow dioramas, so this worked perfectly. a little flag capture spot with some Liquitex gel and also some foot stands for the blue figures to stand on later. Now I had to start with a black wash. I just wanted to make these figures really quick. I didn't want to spend like 10 or eight hours in customizing them and painting them and all that. So I just wanted to do a quick black wash. I just wanted to do a quick black wash to start. And then we're gonna go in with some light blue lighting. Now we're going over with a silver dry brush whole figure just to make him shine a lot more. Also on the Elite, I thought looks was really awesome with this one. For the AC figure, we had to use red I wanted him to be half AC, half non-AC, and then on his right arm with the energy sword, I wanted it to be glowing and then kind of reflecting onto the AC part. And then once we had that done, we also hit it with a silver dry brush as well. 
and a little bit of black detailing. Then also this elite got shot in the leg, so I had some blood spewing out. I just thought that was kind of neat and a little fun. This side with the energy sword on it, I wanted to have that lighting detailing. Uh, I made a, di a whole diorama on lighting and trying to figure it out a while back, which I think I kind of failed on that diorama, but I think I did better on this job on the active camo Spartan than I did with the diorama for sure. So I was very happy with what happened with this. I wanted to give the CTF flag just a little bit different feel, so I painted the skull white and then hit it with a wash. And some silver detailing on the side of those weird wings and then I hit this with a strong tone wash as well to give it that more scully look. Now we had to drill through this Spartan. And we're going to be using a pencil here to make the starter hole into this pillar and then sticking that flag right through the Spartan and poking him through. Now we're adding some blood because, well, there would be definitely a lot of blood where this happened. Having that right through his chest and setting up all the figures for this epic diorama. guys here it is my red versus blue halo 3 themed diorama the stone pillar idea was from halo 2 kind of i just kind of had that stone pillary halo 2 vibe and then i had this weird wire kind of going around and this wire was just a jump rope cable that i've never used really so i just cut it up and then that's going into the snow and then you have the halo kind of like flag respawn point right here how you capture the flag right here then before he was able to this red guy stabbed it through the blue Master Chief and just took him out of the game and now the other three blues are gonna try to take down the red guy and overall I'm very happy with this diorama. I think it's really cool. It's a little bit unique and interesting and it's just pretty fun. I mean I'm gonna be able to use this little diorama for a ton of other stuff as well so that's gonna be nice. With the AC figure I got from the pack so I made him half red and then the other half is his energy sword lighting him up while still being AC and I thought that was kind of neat. And overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. All helps me out a ton. Let me know in the comments down below some more ideas that I should do next, if I should do some more red versus blue themed stuff. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a great rest of your day, evening, or night. Peace out.